so that it will be strong. We place that on the table. This one is made of banana peels. Then on top of the mkeka, we place the kinara. The kinara is a candle holder. It has seven holes, not like the Jewish menorah, which has nine. We place the kinara on top of the foundation, which is our mkeka. The mkinara represents the parents because the parents stand on the found strong foundation and they hold up the light. That brings me to our next symbol. Our next symbol are the Mishuma Saba. The Mishuma Saba are the seven candle, candles. We place three red candles to your left, one black candle in the center, and then three green candles. The candles represent the colors, these kind of pan-African colors. The green represents the lush lands and prosperity of Africa. The red candles represent the bloodshed and the struggle of African peoples. And the black candle represents the people of Africa. It represents our strong foundation, our unity. So we have the Mkeka, we have the Kinara, we have the Mishuma Saba. Now we need our unity cup. Our unity cup is used to pour libation. We want to put this on the table. We fill it with water and we pour water out into our plant every day when we celebrate Kwanzaa. Then we need our mazao. Our mazao are our crops. Remember, Kwanzaa is a celebration of the first fruits. So we have to have our crops, which represent the abundance that we are grateful for. And we place that on our mkeka. Then we have our Vibunzi, I love saying that word, Vibunzi. Vibunzi are our corn. These are those maize, that holiday corn. See, it's all brown or purple or reddish. We put this on the table. This represents the children. So you have one ear of corn for each child in the house. Mama Zorn has two children. So I'm going to put two corn, two Vibunzi on my mkeka. Put Place those there. Reorganize a little bit. Okay, and then we have our, hmm, we have our Zawadi. We can't forget Zawadi. Zawadi are the gifts that we give to children for keeping their promises all year long. So we'll put the Zawadi on the table as well. Now let's do a quick count. Let's see what we have. Mkeka, Kinara, Mishuma Saba, Mazao, Vibunzi, Kikombe Cha Umoja, the Unity Cup, and the Zawadi. Then we have, so we have our seven essential symbols. And now we want to add an alternative symbol called the bandera, which is the flag. And we want to decorate with other symbols. So we have a wonderful Kwanzaa card that was gifted to us. We can put that there. Some lovely decorations that we can put, as well as books, children's books that we plan to read and celebrate during our Kwanzaa celebration. I also like to bring out some music. I have some awesome Kwanzaa CDs and I'll put those down on my table as well. And now we have all seven of our symbols and we are ready to celebrate Kwanzaa. We're gonna have a joyous celebration. Harambe! 